This is calculator question number three from practice test five in the 2018 College Board Prep Book, which is also the May 2016 US SAT. College Board gives us a paragraph about making muffins and the amount of chocolate needed. And the question is, how much chocolate do you need for 48 muffins? And the amount is in pounds. When they underline your units, they're usually testing conversion of units and I like to multiply by fractions equal to one. So I'm told that 2.5 ounces of chocolate each equals one muffin. Since I have muffins in the numerator, I'm going to put one muffin in the denominator and 2.5 ounces in the numerator. The muffins cancel and now I have ounces of chocolate, but they're asking for how many pounds. I'm also told one pound equals 16 ounces I want to cancel out my ounces, so 16 ounces goes in the denominator to cancel ounces in the numerator, and one pound goes in the numerator because one pound equals 16 ounces. So if I multiply by one pound over 16 ounces, I'm multiplying by one. When I multiply by 2.5 ounces over one muffin, that was also one. Ounces cancel, so 48 times 2.5 over 16 would be the number of pounds. 48 times 2.5 over 16 is 7.5 pounds. College Board always asks you to convert units, and if you have any concern at all about how to do it, writing fractions that are equal to 1, like I did here, increases your reliability so you don't in inadvertently multiply by a number you were supposed to divide by, or vice versa. And come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.